Hi, I'm Bob Dunlap and welcome to the Armors course on the Remington High Power Rifles, the models 740, 742, and 760, and then the new versions, the 7400, the 7600, the 76, and the 74. I have some variations or some, some to look at to show you here. Uh, here, I have now, a 740. There's nothing behind the action bar to lock it in place. I'm going to cock the gun. You see the action bar lock popped up and now we can't pump the gun. Stops it. I pull the trigger. The hammer plunger made contact with the action bar lock and made it pivot down. What, what controls that, of course, is the hammer. When the hammer is cocked, it pushes the mainspring and the mainspring plunger back and the action bar lock with its own spring is propelled upward. And once it's cocked, It pop up and now lock the action bar. Can't pump the gun. On the automatic, <coughs> this action bar lock is rounded locked. and doesn't lock. What it is, and you can see it here, it's a right there, not, not the receiver cover, port cover, but this thing right here. It's a piece of steel that fits in a slot in the bolt, and the tail of it comes up and goes into a slot in the bolt carrier. And it engages when the bolt is in the unlocked position. Then it jumps up, and so it locks the bolt and bolt carrier in the same position, so they can't rotate much on each other. They do rotate a little bit, but not very much, just the flex of the thing. The 740 didn't have this. The 742 later did. The first 742s I don't think did, but shortly afterwards they did, to eliminate this, this problem of the bolt head trying to lock into the grooves it makes in the receiver. This gun's been shot at the same, same time. It's easy. Okay, and we, we did talk about, I believe, the fact that on some guns, this pin is riveted in. On this gun, it is not. It's an early gun. If it's one of the guns where the hammer pin, hammer pivot pin, is riveted into the trigger housing, don't take it out unless you have to. Like if the hammer's broken or something, or you're getting misfires because the spring is fatigued or broken, then you have to take it out. Otherwise, don't because you run the risk of breaking the housing. Now what you can do, because it'll be, it feels pretty good with that grease on it. <clears throat> Put in the trigger. Remember that the left hand leg goes on the outside of the trigger guard, and the central leg, of course, goes in the middle. If you put it in right, you can't, you can't hardly get it wrong. You put it in that way. But the left connector goes in between the shelf here on the trigger plate and the stop on the trigger plate there. Put the pin through. Remember the pin has serrations. I normally put the serrations in and I'm...